So my last video was on Seachem Stability. I talked about how to use it and my honest review on it. I had a bunch of questions regarding the idea of using a fish in cycle and a fish list cycle. Well, so let's take a look at this. So here's the tanks that I've been dosing with Seachem Stability. And uh, like I said in the last video, I'll throw a link in the description box on the video where I talked about how to use it and set it up essentially. But here's the, here, here's the question that a lot of people were asking. What's the difference between doing a fish in cycle and doing a fish list cycle? And to kind of make that simpler, essentially we're cycling tanks, Seachem Stability, we're using this stuff to cycle the aquariums. And um, the safest way to do this is to do a fish list cycle. And what that means is to cycle the aquariums using zero fish. That way no fish get harmed because when you do a fish in cycle, sometimes ammonia burns their gills, etc. So the big difference when using Seachem Stability and a fish list cycle is you have to feed ammonia to the tank. And the big difference is, um, you know, a fish in cycle, the fish gives off the ammonia and a fish list cycle, we need to add ammonia. And the most common way to add ammonia is to add fish food. So what I do is just grab any fish food you have. This is um, fluval bug bites. And essentially what you do is you just throw a small little pinch in the aquarium. And the, to dose this stuff, what you do is one cap full for every 10 gallons. And then for the next seven days, you do half of that for a half a cap full for every 10 gallons. So, and what you do is you just take a little pinch of fish food and you add ammonia to the tank because this stuff, Seachem Stability and a lot of like the competitors that do the same thing as uh, sort of like a, an artificial nitrifying bacteria, it needs ammonia to feed on if that makes any sense because what we're doing here is we're kind of skipping like weeks of the, of the cycling process by, you know, jump starting it by using these spores of the nitrifying bacteria, which is what Seachem Stability is. I know it gets a little technical here. Um, just think of it this way. Uh, to purely simplify this, when we're using Seachem Stability and you're not using fish, which is a fishless cycle, you need to put a dab or a pinch of fish food in there, maybe like once in that seven day process of setting up the stability. And you know, this whole cycling process with using these nitrifying bacterias or like the boosters is kind of, it's, it's, it's pretty annoying if I'm being completely honest. And an easier way to set up an aquarium cycle, I always tell people, is to just call your friend with a fish tank that's already been established and set up um, and get some of the, the media from their filter. You know, maybe your friend has an established tank and they have a dual sponge filter. All you have to do is buy the same filter and just take one of the sponges off and throw it in one of your tanks and it's an auto cycle. It's the easiest way to do it. Um, that way you don't have to use all these uh, weird products like Seachem Stability um, or API Quick Start or the Fritz Nitro, uh, the bacteria. Like all this stuff is really the same and you could simplify it by just going to your local fish store, asking them for some uh, filter media. Or if you just wanna use this stuff, this is, uh, this is the way to do it. So like I said, if you're doing a fishless cycle, you're gonna to wanna to use some fish food. Baby kit's here bugging. Um, the cats love the, the smell of the fish food. I'm guessing it's fishy and they just love it. So guys, let me know in the comments section. I will try to answer any comments or questions you guys have regarding uh, the sea chem stability and talking about a fishless cycle versus a fish in cycle. I know it gets complicated. And if you're setting up a fish tank, this was probably super annoying to you. So uh, at least give me a thumbs up for trying to help you guys. Without further ado, subscribe, all that fancy jazz. So, all right, have yourself a nice day.